Okay, so the observer exercise with a focus on either uh, breathlessness or anger. And um, okay, so the, the main thing to know if uh, there is any, if one isn't in absolute uh, peace and presence right now, is to, uh, to do the observer exercise is first get a calibration. A calibration is uh, look at something in the room. Is there a mug in the room? Is there um, a lamp in the room? You know, is there a, a plum or a fruit in the room? So as you, as you observe any object in the room, you'll notice that the, ob the object, you're not confused. There's no confusion as a spiritual awareness that you're the mug on the table or you're the plum on the table or you're any object. So that's a spiritual, that's an, a spiritual awareness or a spiritual experience that the observer observes an object that's out there in the room, but the observer is not the object. And that, that you don't need to think about that. That's your experience. Okay, so the next thing is uh, breathlessness. Well, breathlessness is also an object. When I say an object, it's something uh, that, it, uh, that has form. You know, it, there, there is that which observes breathlessness, which is not breathless. Just like when there's observing of a cup or a mug, the observer of the mug is not the mug because the mug can come and go or be there or not be there and still the observer is here. Breathlessness is also a uh, object. So sometimes there can be breathlessness here and there's something that's observing that, you know, that, that form of breathlessness, whether it, you know, you don't have to make a label like it's my lungs or anything. That's just a label or a story. If you don't make a head story, it's, uh, you could say it's, uh, it's an object. Just like a cloud, I would say, is an object. It might not be a clear object, it might be a fuzzy object, but still there is an observer of a cloud. And if there's the fuzziness of a cloud of breathlessness, there's something that observes the breathlessness. So if there's observing of the sky and there's a cloud in the sky, and, uh, and that cloud passes by, this fuzzy object, then still the observer is not the cloud. You know, the cloud passes by. And if suddenly there is breathlessness, and the observer of the breathlessness is not the breathlessness. And when the breathlessness passes away or stops, the observer is still here to observe that it's gone. So, so if there is breathlessness now or any sensations uh, in the body or uh, around breathlessness, well, breathlessness is a thing that comes and go and changes, just like a cloud may come uh, and maybe get more it may start to dissipate as you're observing it or get bigger as you're observing it. So the, this object is, it still doesn't affect the observer. And as you know that there is no breathlessness sometimes and then there is breathlessness or there's a lot or there isn't. Being the observer of the breathlessness of being aware that it's a shape, even if it's a fuzzy shape like a cloud, being the observer or the witnesser of it, uh, if you're in the witnesser position of it, you'll notice that the witnesser is not affected by breathlessness. So as you keep doing this, if the, if the observer or the witnesser is hooked into the breathlessness, it seems to be affected or interested in the breathlessness, then be the, the observer of that observer. Is the observer of the interested observer, which is hooking into breathlessness, is the detached observer of that observer is it affected by breathlessness? Same thing with anger. If there's a feeling of anger or stress, uh, if there's a sensation, you know, suddenly there seems to be anger, it could be in the chest or, in, or it could be uh, tension anywhere, that's an object because one is observing when there is, isn't anger. So when anger suddenly arises as, a, as an object or a cloud, there is observing of the anger. So if you're the observer of the anger, you then see through your experience, is the observer hooked in or interested to the anger? And if it is, then can you be the observer or the witnesser of that witnesser? Now, if a person works, walks into the room, um, then if there is identification or hooking in to what that person is doing or saying, then the thing to know is that um, one has identified or hooked in 
or made a story about a, a person, which is actually an object, just like a cloud or a mug on the table. So if you, be the, if you can be the detached observer of a person walking into the room, for example, then is the observer affected by a person? And if the, if the observer, or if there seems to be thinking or enmeshment or a story or feelings coming up because a person has worked, walked into the room, then can you be the observer of any feelings or thoughts that arise? If there are any thoughts then that are going on now, if you're in the thinking mode, well, thoughts are also passing by, just like clouds in the sky or just like passing objects. So can you then be the observer or the witnesser of thoughts? And if the, if the witnesser of thoughts is hooking in or attached to thoughts, then can you be the observer of that observer? And so in this way, if there is an object that seems to be affecting you, then you are not observing it. Either you are um, the observing it with hooking in or attachment or interest, or there is none of that. You're just in your head and, and experiencing yourself as, as a body and there is no observing going on. So then you'd be the observer of your thoughts and your body, and then be the observer of anything, any person or anger or any breathlessness that is arising in this moment. So through this process, you just see uh, what is your experience now? Is there an experience that you're the body? Is there an experience that you're anger? Is there an experience that you're breathlessness? And if you, there is, then, what is observing this? Is the observer of these things affected by anger? Is the obser can the observer be angry? Can the observer be breathless? Can the observer be a thought? So as you, as you get spiritual clarity or, or clear observing or detached observing or witnessing on these, you'll notice that a detached observer of any object is not affected by it. And the observer, which has no interest in zero hooking into an object, is not even aware that those objects exist. Okay, let's just spend a moment uh, just to go and clear anything so that we can get to a place of pure observing and presence. <laughs> 